Hi everybody, it's Tammy here and I wanted to do a quick tutorial on Quiz Is and how to set up a quiz in Quiz Is to where it's integrated with Google Classroom and it will go directly into Classroom and that's where the students will find it. So what I'm going to do first is I go to Quiz Is and you might have to do some setup. So do a, a test before you start doing this because you are going to need to link your two accounts. But if you are logged into Quiz Is into your school account with your Google account, it should hopefully link with your Google Classroom. If it's not linked, then it will ask you to when you first start doing it. So it's not a big deal, um, but you um, may want to just do a test before you get started with this. But then after that, you'll be fine. So I'm in quizzes. I'm in my quizzes. I've chosen the quiz that I want to assign. So this one's on slope and it's 10 questions. So instead of playing it live like you would in class, I'm going to choose the homework option. Now this isn't going to be homework. This is maybe something they do in class, but they're going to be able to work at their own pace. So I'm going to assign homework. Now before you hit proceed, you want to change some of these settings. Now all these defaults are on, so you turn off or on whatever you want to do. In my experience, what I've done is this. Shuffle the questions. I like to shuffle the questions and the answer options. That way, if they're working next to each other, they're not on the same question. The answers are all jumbled. It just kind of makes it more individual. I do not like to show the answers. So I'm going to turn that option off because um, I don't want them to see the answers right away. I want them to work for it. Show quiz review. Now this I like to have on because at the end of the quiz, it gives them their grade. And if they scroll down under the grade, they're able to see which ones they missed. Now it's not going to tell them the answer. It's just going to tell them which ones they missed. Then they can go back and study and then take the quiz again. That's the way I do it. Now down here on game settings, I don't like to have a leaderboard because it's not a competition. I turn off the question timer so they can go at their own pace. I do like to show the memes and I usually just use the default. It just when they have it right or wrong, it gives them a little meme to tell them if it was right or wrong. And then I turn off the music. So once I have all of those settings selected, I'll go back up here and then I'll make sure I have the due dates that I want um, to, I would say, maybe a week away. And I can set the time. So it says seven days from now. And then I hit once I have all that done, hit proceed. Now, once you hit proceed, this screen comes up. It gives you the game code you can assign, but I want to go directly to Classroom. So choose the Google Classroom logo. And once you've done that, it gives you the option to choose which course you want to select. So these are just the courses that I have um, set up right now. So I set assign it to that classroom. I can change the title if I want to. This is about um, slope. Um, and then click on the link below to start the game. So that's just the description they see in Google Classroom. I can even schedule it here um, for a different time. And then, and then I click Assign. And it should show up in their Google Classroom. Uh, they do not have to enter any code. If they just click on the link inside Google Classroom, it will take them straight to the quiz and prompt them to enter their name. So I hope that helps. Have a great day.